Um, so hello. Um, I want to talk today about TMAU, and TMAU is something which I've suffered personally with. I don't really have it as much anymore, and um, you get TMAU by having a lot of bad bacteria in your in your gut. And the reason you get um, TMAU is by basically eating the wrong foods and then your gut producing a, 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 a multitude of bacteria and then the, the dominant bacteria of your gut being able to cope with the with the bacteria that you consume the food that you consume the most of. In my case, and I say this from experience, in my case I ate a lot of eggs and um the hydrogen sulfide in those eggs made my digestive system very unable to cope and it invertedly infected the liver and um, a build up of hydrogen sulfide is, is very bad and um, I can't really remember what I wrote down but But I think with genetic diseases, I think to myself, are they? I think to myself, some some diseases are some diseases are genetic, but but you can acquire them later down the line if you have if you're predisposition to it in your genes. And and what can happen is that, especially with the digestive system, if if you have enough, of, if you have certain bacteria in your gut, your your gut is unable to cope, and um, and your liver then is unable to cope, and then your kidneys are unable to cope. So. With TMAU, you inadvertently end up smelling. And um, with TMAU, there is a famous method that the enzymes working called the lock and key method. I can't quite remember who did who who came up with that. But um, enzymes are, are very, in my opinion, pliable. By not by, they're just pliable naturally. And um, TMAU and TMA in the so the enzymes here and TMAU comes in, oxygen comes in, and oxygen TMAU bonds perfectly to the enzyme, but oxygen comes in and because the enzyme is misshapen, the oxygen only binds partially. So most of so most of the oxygen molecule is not bonded properly to the TMA molecule. So TMAO TMAO is produced but not to the level needed so that's why people have TMAU it's very simple really and the lock and key method is so such a beautiful method it is so beautiful because it explains things so perfectly and I put it's my belief that TMA and oxygen fit into the FMO3 enzyme but in the cases of TMAU that the O2 molecule is only partially bonded to the TMA molecule the oxygen oxygen molecule doesn't bond properly because the space for the molecule and the enzyme is misshapen because of nature. The end product is not fully metabolized and that is what causes TMAU people. Remember it because it is true and that is a diagram for you there. So that that is a diagram for you there. So Take care, people, and remember to look after each other and love one another. So take care. Bye, bye, bye.